Welcome to the Great Basin Prescribed Fire and Smoke Transport Briefing for Friday, April 5th. Over the last one to two weeks, we've seen storms continue to move across the Great Basin and bring mainly some heavier precipitation to the mountain areas of the Sierra, central and northern Utah, and up into central Idaho. Over the last two weeks, we've seen these areas with above normal precipitation, but still some areas of below normal precipitation for the two-week period over southern eastern Utah, parts of Nevada, and even parts of southern and central Idaho. Looking at our new snowfall over the last 72 hours as a storm system is currently moving across the Great Basin, the heaviest snowfall has occurred as expected over parts of central Idaho where we've seen anywhere from 6 to 12 inches or more in the higher terrain. Other areas just some light spatterings of snow and you can see the snow depth on the right. And still the snowpack is near to above normal across all of the Great Basin for the time of year. Even up into central Idaho now with the new snowfall, snowpack has increased to near normal. Looking at our satellite loop from this morning, you can see the storm system moving across the Great Basin. It has moved into the western side of the Great Basin, bringing some colder temperatures, clouds and showers, and still some strong winds now over the eastern half of the Great Basin out ahead of this system. So for later today, this storm system will track eastward into parts of Nevada and Idaho, bringing again continued showery activity to much of Nevada and also up into Idaho and far northwest Utah. There has been lightning associated with this system as again this is a fairly strong spring system so we have seen again some lightning but also with some showers stronger winds out ahead of this low will impact much of utah down into northern arizona and there are high wind watches or high wind warnings and wind advisories out for these gusty south winds you can see with this system moving across obviously ventilation index will remain high with good dispersion across the great basin you can see the transport winds showing these stronger winds across much of Utah. Today, the strongest winds will eventually move eastward across eastern Utah and down into Arizona, but we'll still, still see gusts in the 40s across much of Utah and even into southern Nevada. Mixing heights will remain high across the basin. Today, temperatures with this system will be quite cool across the western half of the region, with highs only reaching the 30s and 40s across much of Nevada into Idaho, and then into the 50s across southern Nevada and across much of Utah. You can see the probability of precipitation showing the showers really over much of the Great Basin. However, these showers really won't move their way further south into southern Nevada or eastern Utah quite yet. As we move into Saturday, this system will sweep across the Great Basin and into the Rockies. So we will see that moisture continuing to track across eastward across the Great Basin tonight and into tomorrow. So still good dispersion with this system moving through. You can see another system, a weaker system, off the northwest coast, which will also impact the region this weekend. So for Saturday, we will see gusty winds almost region-wide, but the strongest winds will be in the higher terrain of the mountains of Utah and over southern Idaho and southwest Wyoming, where we'll see gusts above 45 or 50 miles per hour. Mixing heights will still remain high region-wide. These cool temperatures will spread eastward across the Great Basin, with most areas seeing highs only in the 40s or even in the 30s in the higher elevations and the warmest temperatures will be in southern Nevada, which will see highs in the upper 50s or low 60s. Showers will track eastward and impact much of Idaho, northern Nevada, and northern Utah, and Wyoming as we move through Saturday. And then by Sunday, that secondary system drops south, so we will see continued moisture across the northern half of the Great Basin, along with cooler temperatures and cloud cover. Dispersion will still remain fairly good across all of the Great Basin. We might see some decreases in dispersion over parts of northern Nevada. And on Sunday, you can see how those winds really decrease across Nevada, but still remain breezy as that system drops south across Idaho and Wyoming, and mixing heights remain high. Temperatures will be increasing gradually on Sunday as these systems exit the western side, western side of the Great Basin. However, highs will still remain in the 40s to low 50s. And then we will still keep showers over the northern half of the Great Basin on Sunday, but they will be lighter than what we'll see today and tomorrow. So the three-day precipitation, most areas will see at least some light areas of precipitation. Some of the heavier spots will be central Idaho and the mountains of northern Utah. And still some drier spots will be southern Nevada and southern eastern Utah, which will only see some light shower activity and light precipitation. So moving to Monday, we'll finally start seeing a change in the weather, with the system dropping southeast. Still some clouds and showers impacting the eastern half of the Great Basin, but a ridge of high pressure starts to build along the west coast we will see drier and warmer conditions over western Nevada. Dispersion will also be decreasing under that ridge in the western side of the Great Basin, but still remain good elsewhere. On 
on Tuesday that ridge starts to spread eastward and by Wednesday we will see generally lighter winds and warmer temperatures region-wide. And then by Thursday again similar conditions with that ridge dominating we will see temperatures high temperatures reach back up into the 60s and possibly low 70s across the lower elevations of the Great Basin. So definitely a warmer and drier period heading through much of next week. So our precipitation for Monday through Wednesday as expected you would we are seeing that that precipitation move eastward. You can still some lingering showers probably Sunday, Monday over southern areas of Utah, but for the most part, drier conditions. And then later in the week, dry conditions region-wide with the exception of possibly some light showers moving into central Idaho. And then the seven day total precip, obviously taking everything into account. So still most areas over the next seven days and really just the next few days, seeing some areas of precipitation with the exception being southern Nevada and southern and eastern Utah, which there will definitely be some drier spots. The 8 to 14 day outlook taking us from April 12th through the 18th shows warmer conditions across much of the west and generally near normal precipitation. So we will see some moisture moving through, but we're not expecting any heavy storms. That concludes our webcast for today. Check back on Monday for the latest updates.